down. And it's time to face the real challenge. So, normally you are entering with way more beefed up soldiers, but we gotta deal with it just the way we have it. Probably got enough uh, firepower to only need to go through him three times. Maybe two times. Not 100% sure. Well, I appreciate challenges, so not going to shy away from it. Look at that. Good, I think. Using a low level grenade to remove the cover. It's definitely worth it. Good, we can reach both if we're running into, but we don't want to run that far because that would trigger the chosen. Don't want to do that. I would like to keep all of um, my cooldowns. So what we can do is we can, come on, almost. We can find that one pixel. There we go. Pixel didn't remove the cover, unfortunately. Fifty fifty to deal with the Spectre. That's a miss. Still trying to hit him. Even if we do not get him down, the worst thing that could happen is that he's going to shadowbound one of us, and that's about it. Blade storm into lightning reflexes, fair enough. And there is the shadowbound, pretty predictable. Now he can't move very far away, which is going to be his downfall because we're, we're just going to run him down essentially. Moving here. Blue screen rounds, shot in the hat. And some more kills for the Templar. Just because we want to make sure that we're leveling him. He's definitely a powerhouse. They're in core. Superior hair trigger is good. And advanced expanded magazine is also very good. So we're getting some awesome drops here. Closing on target position now. On your order. Gotta make sure that we're getting everything in order before we're even moving to the Chosen. The Hunter can be a formidable foe if you're not killing him right away. He tends to deal a lot of damage and the bleeding shots continue to, uh, to bleed on and on and on and on. So if possible, we want to prevent that from happening. I think this here is as far as we can go. 
Yep, that's correct. Let's use the middle. Next turn, we're going to go in. And here we go, guys. Let's get this one down. Hunter begins to join us. Yeah, the one side that is leaving this place alive is going to be us, hopefully. Low profile is bad. Maglord is even worse. Reveals concealed units doesn't matter for us. Can't deal with um, skirmishers. We don't have that. And he doesn't trigger overwatch. Okay, fair enough. But he takes additional damage from explosions. Very, very good. Let's use this in our advantage, shall we? Good. First things first. All right, moving down here, we want to shred him. There we go. Nice little shell shock. It's already pretty much down. Let's continue to shred him, which would be us standing here, right next to him. Hello, buddy. How's it going? Fortunately, just a gazing shot. Well, I'm pretty sure we can and will do that again and again. I want to... Uh, he, he's not triggering Bladestorm because he's not triggering Overwatch. Okay, fair enough. Not the end of the world. Nice little hit. Okay, we can deal with him in a second. Let's first of all get to here. We're definitely under equipped to deal with his bullshit. He has a lot of hit points and we're not having the weaponry to uh, keep up with it. But I'll do my best to nonetheless hit him. Probably should have get uh, gotten amplification on our Templar. That would have... Um, helped us because we uh, could have gotten more damage in per round moving, to position. moving in and we need the maximum damage here which in this case is null lands okay very good He is in full cover, so although it looks wasteful, 
Maybe should have saved the teamwork for next round when the sarcophagus is there. But I really want to kill him without counterplay. Well, 90% shot missed. On the upside, we will have a lot of options next turn to shoot the sarcophagus. Well, the mechs will still be a problem. Damn it. All right, I'm taking the short route uh, with Revival Protocol. Mentioned it beforehand, absolutely fantastic skill. Let's deal with the two mechs first. Damn, it's so tempting to just kill the hunter. But we gotta deal with the mechs. All right, we're shifting that problem to the next turn. Your body grows weak. I want to deal some damage to these sarcophagus. Good. The ones that can deal the least damage to the sarcophagus should just deal with the remaining mech for now. Templars are historically not that great in dealing uh, with these sarcophagus. We earned our promotion, that's fantastic. Now it's time for us to actually deal with the sarcophagus. Let's dish out as much damage as we can this round. And since we know that they that the enemies can spawn everywhere. Might as well stand close to one spawn location so that we could get some blades, blade storm attacks in. Moving, to position. Moving up there just for... I should have reloaded instead. My bad. Time to unload. And like I said, deal as much damage as we can. Lucky us. And at the same time, unlucky us. Because I guessed right, but the Spectre comes with lightning reflexes. So no point in feeling great about it. We're going to miss anyways. Ooh. No lightning reflexes when he spawns. That is interesting. I didn't know that. Gosh, another Spectre. Okay. 
So we've got to deal with the mech. That's the highest priority because it deals a lot of damage. Reloading. And let's see that we can hopefully get the mech down. That would be a solid kill. Not yet convinced to take that um, action. Let's try to get him down to thirds of a chance. That's good. Four to five points of damage. That's incredibly helpful. Let's maybe move over to here. Many to have an additional angle. That's only 80%. We're going to use combat protocol because it deals extra damage to mechanical units. There we go. Topic solved. Moving further in and hopefully we can kill this guy as you can see Whilst we're doing all of that We're losing out on the actual battle it's disappointing Only got the sarcophagus uh, one third into into its health bar. On the move. Yeah, not much that I can do other than continue to hit with profit. So inspiration is really the right play here. Enable the Templar to deal as much damage as they can. Can't fully kill it, but it's down to one hit point. So we will kill it next turn. There's our good friend the Chosen. Back to full health, full um, armor as well. This is going to become a slugfest, guys. Got to deal with him really, really fast. One point of damage. How do we want to de uh, make sure that we're dealing one point of damage? Sniper deals not a lot of damage to our actual target, the Chosen. We do have a solid chance of killing this guy. Good, Spectre down. Don't need to deal with it anymore. Now, back to the Hunter. I would definitely like to grab this, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Might as well just use our rocket launcher here. Wanted to test it anyways. Reloading to be action efficient, getting a full magazine again. And let's start shredding him. 
There we go, down to one armor. Moving into full cover, closer to the sarcophagus. Can we hit him so that we are not going to hit? Yeah, that looks good because that way it's going to hit him, but it's not going to hit the Templar when he moves up there. Four points of damage is better than nothing. Good, we're moving up. Don't want to kill him this turn. Mainly trying to teach him a lesson and get him down so that we can kill him next turn. You know, I should have done that before. It's not a huge loss, but it is suboptimal play and I don't like suboptimal play. Since I can't kill him, might as well use explosives here to shred him fully. And he becomes shell shocked, so that was decent damage. Moving back into cover. And this is so low. I don't want to use Comet Protocol. It's not worth it. I much rather want to give someone an 8 Protocol. Maybe Kobayashi here so that he ca uh, can't be completely flanked. Not that it matters a lot, but um still a good idea maclord will trigger two overwatches unfortunately a lot of hit points to chew through well maybe it does not trigger two overwatches maybe it just maybe it just summons a lot of hit points I hate the bleeding part of the shot. Told you, it is absolutely cruel. <sighs> Our biggest problem with the hunter is he is summoning A massive amount of enemies at the same time. Not sure if we can deal with all three of them. Let's start taking away the combat protocol. Uh, let's start taking away the overwatch, rather. Now is a good time for run and gun. So let's 
So triggering Overwatch. And Malcolm needs to deal with that guy. Two advanced mechs, just from the pure amount of hit points that they are having, it's disgusting. Alright, let's try to get them both down. The Templar is doing some work here, guys. But I'm more and more concerned about our ability to dish out enough damage to actually win this. Need to reload. Stasis. And let's get into yeah, I don't really care about the loot at this point. I'm on it. I want to be far enough away so that we're not triggering the Chosen. I hope the Chosen goes for our Templar. All right, stasis ends. Gotta be close enough to the sarcophagus, that's what I'm worried about. I think we can reach it in one move, so it's time for reload. That's enough time. Moving in. Increasing that nice little rent damage there. And let's go for a parry. Time for some full cover. And some soul fire. I want to get him close to death, but not quite kill him. That way we do have the maximum amount of um, rounds next turn to hit the sarcophagus. Moving back. Let's make sure Malcolm X is the least attractive target.
move up to here but we would risk killing him and I don't want that to happen so instead let's move back and let's actually hunker down that gives us full cover Little bit of a dazing grenade that's okay could have been much much worse good now let's make sure we're killing this guy and we're having a full round just to fully unload Oh boy, it's getting tougher and tougher. With the amount of energy housed in that capacitor, I fear the chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can good. Moving up to here, we need to make destroying yet again, hoping that we're lucky. Good, we only got one turn, but that's fine. More than enough. Seven points of damage, that's good. Keep it going, keep it going. We gotta take all the damage that we can get. Even if it's a lousy four points of damage. Moving closer down. This is, by the way, the perfect time where the hair triggers could come in handy. Multi shots, chain shots, you name it. Problem is, we have none of those, right? Don't want to use Inspire. It's too valuable just to use it. Uh, stasis comes up next. So how about we're positioning ourselves over here? That way we can stasis someone and still take a shot next turn. Because next turn is another round if we can just control the enemies for one more turn. We can fully unload. Uh. Wow. Speaking about worst possible spawns, that's probably one of them. Only an Andromedon would be worse. Well, or another Archon. Okay, well. Gotta do what we gotta do. Stays is this one here. Doesn't end our turn. So that way we can continue taking shots. Pretty solid damage. I want to make sure that we can effectively act next turn. So I'm inclined to not just shoot. Moving away from the Archon, I don't want to be instant killed. Come on, maximum damage please, or a hair trigger. Something, guys. Throw me a bone game. Good. Reloading. Gotta continue the sarcophagus. Might as well get it down. Oh, that would be so sweet. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Is 
it down? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, so bad. I think I'm going to regret this. But we're going all in. There we go. I'm that's a good thing. Yes. That means not another iteration. And he's at two thirds of his health, which is actually not too bad. Blazing pinions, yeah, okay, I can live with that. No damage. Oh, that's the important part. Okay, good. We only got to deal with the Chosen if we do it right. Thing is over. Problem is he still has a lot of hit points. Can we somehow shred him? That's the first question. Any option to use grenades, rockets? Prophet here has a grenade. So we have two we have two basic approaches to this. Either I'm confident that we're going to get him down. And then we're probably just going to hammer onto him in the hopes of getting him down, or we're going to frost bomb to take this one, uh, the Archon out. The problem that I'm seeing with the latter approach is there is a very, very realistic chance that next turn he's going to use Maglord, and Maglord leads into two advanced mechs, and then we got to fight two advanced mechs plus two. Archons plus him. So that's the concerning aspect about it. Could move all the way up to here, but he's still in full cover. That's the big uh, hikes. We do have Inspire, but that would mean no Nullands. Inspire is ending the turn, right? Yep, it is. Nullens, unfortunately, as well. Insanity, as well. God damn it. We charge up here. Hit him really hard. Really good. Is that going to be helpful? Are we going to get him down is the question. All right, you only live um, once. The problem is if I'm not doing this, I think I'm still going to lose a couple of men. And by going all out, there is a very high likelihood that we're not going to lose anyone. Nice. So this here could be a decent spot to find cover. Out. Of course, the absolute optimum would be to hit this 20% shot. I'm not an idiot, that's probably not going to happen. Not sure if they are immune against frost bombs.
I'm inclined to give it a try. How can we get it done? That is a real problem. We could move up here and take a shot, but a shot would be at, at a huge disadvantage. We can't really, we can't really get him down, and that is a problem. What we can do is we can start shredding him to the best of our abilities. So this here would be like what, six points of damage. If we were to hit him normally, that would be only one point of damage, but uh, another seven, and we would be parrying. No matter how I turn it, it just feels more optimal to go for lightning hands and hit him afterwards. Could have just stood there. Alright, moving up. I think the null end still is the most damage. If if we hit it well, could be up to 12 points of damage. He cannot really do anything against it. Nine, that's good, that's good. Almost got him down. Can't really do anything here, so we're reloading. And let's follow through with our plan. Take this one out for one round. Only 11%, that's not good enough. Instead, let's aid protocol ourselves because the Archon has her as a potential target. I want to make it as difficult for it to actually hit her. As difficult as possible. There we go, come on, miss. All right, come a bit closer, please. I'm the best there is. Can you hear it? The blissful silence. For once, the elders are quiet. I thank you. If I wasn't still compelled to kill you. There we go. Ooh, that is one and a half hours of action, guys. Lost no one and finished that mission, defeated the hunter in battle. And there we go. Hunter done. Not yet saved the campaign, but at least we are back in business, guys. Good, here we go. 
Got even two promotions out of it. Not bad. Let's get Demolition for Kobayashi. And Polar King takes Lightning Hands with that. We would have solved some of the issues. 20 days wounded, 19 days and 13. That is without someone in the infirmary. And we got ourselves the Dark Lance and the Dark Claw. Supreme Artifacts. Also got ourselves the Codex and minus two Avatar Progress. That, by the way, is not because we killed the Hunter, but because we uh, used the Skulljack. Can't stress that enough. So let's get someone in the Med Bay. Negative traits. And remove them is good proof magnetic weapons is definitely what we want to get at this point and if we look at our overall uh, world map we got one last chance i think there is not much more time that i can squeeze out of this without the shadow facility we, we really can't do much so our next plan is to create the resistance communication and and really use some of our intel to make contact. Um, down here, the resi resistant network allows us to make instant contact with other regions. And we already got a tower here, so gotta make contact. And let's continue with our black market because boy, boy, we need supplies, lots and lots of supplies. Good, 105 supplies. That's a start. Please give me something to work with. Yes, reduce avatar progress 10 days, reduce avatar progress 9 days. Even if this here gives one health, we're definitely going for the hacking reward. You know what? I think we can get the do the 10 days. Plus one health. I do you a favor here. You always like your Psy soldiers, might as well give them extra health, right? Good. No soldier needs to be captured, so invest 25 uh, supplies and that'll give us plenty of time to deal with it. Good, the game finally got us something to work with alien debris finished which is good we're not getting any more so let's take a look what else we would need in terms of buildings clearly the shadow chamber is important but in order to go for the shadow chamber we need to get some power relay first because we're low on power So that 100 supplies is pretty well invested for now. Still got 140 supplies left. I will keep that for now until we get way more from, from the black market. Perfect. So what can we buy? None of the good research that we need. Warlock information not needed. Captain Ranger, good, but not needed. Spear Speed definitely is good. Should probably go for it. But I need the intel in order to make contact. Advent Officer Corpse, Advent Shield Bearer Corpse, Mutant Corpse. Can't sell the mutants, we needed them for grenade upgrades. But we can sell the rest. And although it sucks, we got a part with a few of the alien alloys. Need the Viper corpses. Can get rid of the Stun Lancer corpses. This is really a dire situation. We better do the right thing here. A couple of Spectre corpses can go, a couple of Mech corpses can go. 
So we're up to 350 supplies. All right, so start. Now we're starting to talk. Let's take a look what uh, which of the upgrades we are desperately needing. Sniper rifle, yes please. Reaper rifle, yes please. Grand launcher would be good, but we can't afford it. Pistol, yes please. And I'm going to keep 100 supplies. Just so that we do have a bit um, a bit of a cushion. Good, power relay and resistance communications are coming online and we got some countermeasures for the enormous ava uh, avatar project pressure that we're having. What else do we need? Power? No. Larry Malloys and crystals? Potentially yes. The supplies are not enough to justify three days of scanning. Got a supply rate that is exactly what we're looking for. Low profile, not a problem. So this here might get us back on track. We got a lot of potential supplies uh, from this. We can even get promotions. And uh, let's do that in the next mission. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate uh, the support here. If you enjoy the disaster campaigns and just how much on the edge those campaigns are, Feel free to leave a comment down below and a like um, and see you in the next run. Bye bye.